What's going on guys? Killer6 here with episode 5 of my unique items guide in Borderlands the pre-sequel and today we're looking at the system purge. Now at level 50 the stats on this O2 kit are as follows. 170 O2 capacity with a plus 12 O2 on kill. It also grants a shockwave that does one, or I'm sorry, 12,021 damage whenever your O2 is above 75 and you shoot your weapon. Or actually when the weapon, uh, when the bullet hits. The shockwave has a radius of 800 and it also provides a knockback on enemies. The red text says emergency system purge and 321 and I'm not entirely positive what that's in reference to but it reminded me of the system purge in Cabin in the Woods which when that purge happened was an absolute bloodbath. <laughs> the system purge can only be obtained by completing the eradicate mission located in the veins of Helios map. This mission is not farmable, so if you want to get every elemental version of this, then have a friend join you before you turn the mission in. Make sure you set your game uh, to read only, and then accept the item, give it to your teammate, and then just save and quit, reload, and just keep doing that until you have all the elements. Uh, make sure your friend is trustworthy too, obviously. So, this O2 kit is absolutely badass. And the reason I say that is it works kind of similar to the B-Shield in Borderlands 2 and that what it's going to do is it's going to trade instead of uh, shield capacity in this case it's trading O2 capacity uh, to do some extra damage now how this works is whenever your O2 is above 75 uh, it will use 50 of your O2 to release a Nova that you know emanates from where you shoot so uh, I don't know if you can see here for example every time I shoot him in the face you can see that ring come out from his head so what that's doing is it's giving me an extra 12,000 damage and you know honestly I'm not sure if that's per projectile which in this case using the squad it would be you know multiple Novas that are hitting inside there I you know since we don't have a uh, firing range dummy anymore it's kinda hard for me to <clears throat> sorry it's kinda hard for me to say with certainty how well that's working I do know though that uh, using this out in uh, a vacuum is not going to be the most ideal unless you have constant sources of oxygen around you. Uh, granted, you are going to get plus uh, 1202 for each kill that you get, but uh, you know there, there's going to be times out in uh, vacuum areas where you're just not going to be able to uh, get that O2 back. And even right here where I have a, an O2 source, that the oxygen vent there, um, I'm still, you know, I ran out of oxygen real fast there, but you know, this this O2 kit it, for me, I consider this to be probably the best O2 kit in the game. Uh, now, having said that, there are some duality kits. There's some other kits. There's some very specific builds and kits that you can use in conjunction with one another. But me being primarily a Nisha player at this point, uh, you know, I'm, I'm still trying to get the feel for her and, and see what all she can do. But with uh, this kit and the build that I use on uh, Nisha, this it's perfect because I can do an insane amount of damage. And um, you know, right here I'm constantly regening uh, oxygen, re constantly regening health because of my uh, my build. So this is just uh, a great all-around O2 kit on uh, on Anisha, especially for this uh, raid fight because you have plenty of uh, little minions around here that you can kill to keep boosting your oxygen up so you can keep doing the uh, the shockwave damage as you can see there. So if this video was helpful for you guys, I would appreciate it if you take a moment to click that like button, hit subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, yeah, make sure you go out and complete the eradicate mission. Uh, again, make sure you do the, the mission at level 50. Don't, don't uh, take this mission, don't even accept the mission if you're only level, you know, 35 the 48 or whatever make sure you're level 50 when you take this mission that way you get a level 50 version of this o2 kit and like i was saying i would appreciate you if you guys would click that like button hit subscribe and i will see you guys back here tomorrow with the next episode of the unique items guide and then again on monday with some more legendary guides thanks for watching guys take care